welcome back to my channel. So today we are making breakfast, my favorite meal ever. So these are specifically weekend breakfasts that you can make if you have a little bit more time or you want to make a little bit more effort. They're perfect for a brunch if you're having some guests over or something like that or just to enjoy by yourself on the weekend. So if you want to see these three really healthy, super good for you, but so tasty and amazing recipes, then just keep on watching. So for these delicious French toasts, all you want to do is add all of the ingredients, except the bread obviously, to a blender. And then you just want to whisk that up until everything is completely and well combined. And then you just want to transfer it into like a tray or a plate or a bowl or something like that. And then you just want to soak your bread. I'm using whole grain bread, but also sourdough is really nice. And then you just want to fry them in your pan. I'm using it with a little bit of coconut oil. And my bread was sticking a little bit still, but I just decided to flip them a few times and then I was good to go. And then if you want to top them with some whipped cream, here are the ingredients. This is so good. I'm using silicone, but you can definitely use powdered sugar instead. I just blended mine up to get a more powdered sugar consistency. And then I took the creamy part of the coconut milk, not the water, and just added that and blended everything together until it had a whipped cream consistency. And then I just plated everything, topped it with the delicious coconut whipped cream and some strawberries. And honestly guys, this was so so good. Please try it. I almost guarantee that you will love it. So I'm using this organic silken and smooth tofu, but I'm honestly not a tofu expert, so I'm sure you can use other kinds of tofu as well. But what I did was I wrapped it in some paper towel and then in a kitchen towel, and then I put something heavy on top of it for 20 minutes or so, because that's what the internet told me to do. And while that was sitting, I just added some mushrooms and some cherry tomatoes to a tray, and I baked those in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes or something like that. Then I unwrapped the tofu and I used a fork to kind of scramble it up to resemble something like scrambled eggs. And then I just added that to a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil and I added some turmeric and some paprika powder and a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And then I just cooked that for probably like five minutes or something like that until it was all warmed through. So then I took a piece of bread and I added some mashed avocado, then I added the tofu scramble on top and the cooked tomatoes and the mushrooms on the side. And I was so positively surprised with how this turned out. It was such a good alternative to scrambled eggs and so, so delicious. Okay, so for the pancakes part of this recipe, you just want to add your banana to your blender or to your con blender container, then add the oats and the milk and then the chia seeds. And then again, you guessed it, you're gonna whisk it up in the blender, just blend it all together for a little bit until everything is combined and then leave that for about 15 minutes or so. And then you can make your caramel sauce in the meantime and all you want to do is take a tablespoon of coconut oil, a tablespoon of almond butter, a tablespoon of maple syrup and then a little dash of vanilla extract and then you just want to stir that and maybe melt it a little bit if the coconut oil is solid and this is the best caramel sauce ever guys just try it it's so so good and super simple as well and then once your batter has been sitting for a little bit and thickened then you just want to add it to your pan and fry it like normal pancakes. Just don't have it on the highest heat because they will burn because you want them obviously to cook through. And then just be patient. Don't flip them too fast because they will just break off. Then for the ice cream part, you just want to add two frozen bananas, a handful of blueberries, a handful of raspberries. The measurement are not really that exact. 
and then you can also add almond butter if you want to and then just whisk that in your food processor until it gets like a creamy nice delicious ice cream consistency and that's it now you just have to plate it all together the pancakes the ice cream i added a ton of different fruit because i love fruit and then just drizzle the caramel sauce on top and honestly this was so divine it's like if you want to impress somebody or you just want to really indulge, try this, it's so good. So those are all the recipes that I wanted to share with you today. I really hope that you found something that you maybe want to make. And if you do, again, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below on the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos from me. I have some really exciting videos coming up, so I hope you will stay tuned. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!